here's the liberation tiny homes build i will mostly refer you to the details in the listing and let the video speak for itself the noise in the background is the generator so we are off the grid yeah. See the metal roof and the beautiful cedar siding that was finished by Liberation Tiny Homes in Pennsylvania. It should last you a very, very long time. Now we're going to go inside. That's the LG mini split where you saw the condenser unit or the heat pump outside provides heat and cool air and works perfectly. It was also installed by Liberation Tiny Homes in Pennsylvania. That is the feature ceiling up there. You can see that there are plenty of windows um, in here. A very cool uh, salvaged spiral staircase that we reused. i turn around now and show you the area around the entry door. Um, there's a little built-in table over there um, there would be room for a sofa or whatever it is that you'd like to put there um, let's see here I'm gonna go kitchen it's very large sink it's like a double size um, and an induction cook top right here it's a large mini fridge next to a combination washer dryer never used just like the other things in here this is the fridge with the freezer compartment on top there's another window over here in the kitchen very nice butcher block countertops and there's a farmhouse door that leads to the bathroom here. And a additional storage under the sink. You can see it there. The windows are all Anderson windows. Very reliable, easy to use, have mosquito screens, as you can see. electrical panel back there and this is the bathroom you can see the plumbing back there and the insulation in the back of the cabinet with which you can do whatever you'd like of course it's an exhaust fan in here this is the shower Stairs to the loft. The 
view from up here. I have about between three and a half and four feet of clearance. Okay, so you could easily put a mattress up here and make it a sleeping loft. Alright, that's it.